Leadership is all about the ability to solve problems. I've worked for many leaders over the years and most of them were lousy. When my mum passed on a Friday from cancer, one leader rang me on the Monday and asked me what time I was coming in at. There are four pillars that leaders anchor their style. The first one is called care. And care means that they connect relationships are a currency. And remember, when people are at their best, your numbers look pretty good too. Secondly, achieve. Helping people win means that when times get tough, they're happy to join you in the trenches. Maybe create a mutual line of sight for your team and ask them that given their performance this year, what should next year look like in terms of their title, their role, their responsibilities and their targets? Respect. You've got to respect and encourage the differences. Sometimes your tormentors are your educators. One leader I worked for, when I asked him could he support me in my master's program, he said, well, if we support you, once you graduate, you leave. Finally, within care, you've got to empower. Just as in the situational leadership model, Use that leadership style if they're ready, willing, and able. The second pillar that great leaders acknowledge is people. The people you hire. I worked for a great leader once and he used to use a test called the basket test. And he would ask an applicant to put the bin either close or far away and throw three pieces of paper into the bin. Now you notice that some people, some applicants, put it beside them and threw the three pieces of paper in, which would suggest a conventional, dependent type of individual. Others put it very far away and tried to throw the three piece of, pieces of paper in. Often the person that was hired was the person who was up for a challenge. The second component about people you hire is to Ask them to write a one-page autobiography on themselves. You'll be amazed what they put on that one-pager. Thirdly, get them to do a presentation with Q&A. And finally, with people you hire, be sure to engage them in psychometric tests, such as insights colors, such as human synergistics, such as situational leadership, where they're asked to determine a leadership style based on 15 to 20 different scenarios. So when it comes to people, think about what your turnover is. It should be single figures. Think long and hard about the quality and um, standards of the staff that you're attracting. Because remember, when you invent a team or you invent a ship, you also invent the shipwreck. And the trick is to sustain it for as long as possible. Um, it's not about the followers you have, it's about the leaders you make. Thirdly, power. The third power of effective leaders. You've got two different types of power. You've got personal power, which is earned, and you've got positional power, which comes with your particular position. Think long and hard about when and how you exercise both. You've got to have a good, happy balance. Remember, great leadership is based on inspiration, not domination or intimidation. It's not what you say, it's what you do. And if something goes wrong, you as the leader, first of all, you've got to admit it went wrong, you've got to apologise and you've got to repair. Finally, for ultra-high performers, knowledge is also power. So the fourth pillar is have a life of learning. 
They say formal education will make you a living, but self-education will make you a fortune. Step on the accelerator of your own potential. Invest in you. Love learning. For me, I use a learning lab journal to capture thoughts and insights on a regular basis. I spend 30 minutes every day on learning time. And if I'm commuting, I've got my university on wheels, where I'm playing a CD or listening to a podcast on business. It's so, so important, folks. Copy and learn from the best and get around the best people. Remember, great leaders are a rare commodity. And were you born to fit in or were you born to stand out? It's never too late to be original. It took David Bowie 10 years. So go transform your inner self. Be conscious of these four pillars that all effective leaders that scale and retain high potential staff use these. Be conscious of the four and you'll become a magnet to attract and retain the best talent. And the longer you persist, the more convinced and determined you become. You get to a point where nothing can stop you and nothing will. They can who believe they can. 